is james woods aka dat yoga dude with feel free to feel free and welcome back to the marathon journey learning that like yoga this marathon training is more than just running i run a lot i run a lot more than i've ever run in my life my body feels it my mind feels it but more importantly running has helped me to learn so much more about who I can be. So I ran 16 miles yesterday. Today I ran about three miles. That is so far out of what I thought I could do and what I wanted to do previously. And it brings me to yoga, how yoga is the same thing. Yoga is just literally stretching past discomfort stretching into a place of awareness stretching into a place of gratefulness of gratitude for where we are at um every step every stride in this marathon training is a win it is important it delivers me from holding on to the last step and moving forward this yoga and this meditation and this marathon training all together locked in in an effort for me really to honestly free myself from old ideas things that are holding me back things that are keeping me in a space that are not my actual highest place and highest purpose so i join this journey with you in the hopes of you finding a stride finding a step finding one place to be and then run into a whole other place to see what you are like when you get there some starts are like man i don't want to do this where am i gonna go uh, i gotta think about my nutrition i gotta think about my route thinking about my numbers thinking about all that kind of stuff and then you get out there and you're like i'm just gonna run and have fun and feel good in my body and feel free within everything so that's the practice that we're gonna enjoy today and every day so today i want to start in a downward facing dog why because that's my body telling me i need my feet <laughs> my feet need to good need a good stretching my legs of course need a good stretching my hips my back and there's no place like a downward dog to get all that going so i'm gonna come onto the mat and if you are in a chair or in a bed today uh, you could just come into a forward fold and a forward fold of course it's just folding forward like this good and playing around here leaning to the left leaning to the right pulling one foot back pulling the other foot back bring your head to the left and right bring your chin up if you're sitting down if you're in a bed if you're not feeling a down dog today come into a forward fold and explore what your body is offering you all right so let's get on the trail I'm gonna spread my fingers wide and press my palm down to the mat. My knees are hip distance apart. I'm gonna try to not overuse run analogies throughout this whole experience, but they're so good. Now, you see how I tuck, I, I turn my toes towards me and I'm pressing my toes into the mat and pressing the ball of the feet down to the mat. This right here is an amazing stretch. This feels good already. And my feet, once again, for those of you who have like plantar fasciitis or issues in your feet, this is a great stretch. And I'm gonna take my little pinky toe and I'm gonna pull it out so I can feel even a deeper stretch and push it back. Oh man, good stretching out. Whole foot, the toes, bring my heels in, see what that feels like. I can really feel that in that um that ligament, that tendon where the plantar fasciitis affects good and then i'm going to walk my hands just a little bit forward and then i'm going to press into those same feet and raise my hips up now i can bring the feet a little bit wider that gives me a little bit more relief from my arms and my shoulders now you see how i rock my hips back and i bring my head towards my toes i'm moving everything back so i don't want to be forward over my elbows and wrist i want to be back 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 pull back like a slingshot, let it go. And then shake the head left and right, bring the hips up, 
and that feels amazing through my whole body. We're gonna hold this here for five more breaths. Four, relax the chest. Three, hips up and back. Two, and one. Good, drop down to the knees. Breathe here, you can pick up the hands and work out the wrist. Pick up the other hand and work out the wrist. Oh, good. And we're going to go into another downward dog. But before we do that, we're going to come into our low lunge. So I'm going to take my left knee, scoot it forward in place of my left hand. And I'm going to take my right leg and scoot it back a little bit. Open that left knee up a little bit more if you need some space. And I'm just going to bring my hips forward. Bend that knee a little bit more and drop down to my hips for a stretch right here. All this muscle in the back of the leg, the quadriceps, is opening up. I feel that stretch here. Now, as you see, my chest is still on my thigh because that's just where I'm at right now. And if you want more of a deeper stretch, you can oh, peel that chest off the thigh. And now I'm really sinking into my hips. The top of my back right foot is relaxed onto the mat. Oh, man, I feel the glutes stretching, the shoulders relaxing, the heart is open. So the top of my right leg stretching and opening up, breathing in and breathing out. This is a really amazing stretch. And you just feel where you're holding on the stuff that's holding you back. Oh, let it go. Let yourself just fly free in every pose and position. One more breath here. Good. Drop the hands. I want to slide this left foot back. Work out the wrist. Spread those fingers nice and wide so you can get a grip. And then tuck the toes and raise the hips up and back. Ugh. Now my knees are pushing up and back. My shoulders sliding down. And I'm reaching up and back with my hips. My heels are reaching towards the ground. Yours may not, and that's okay. Ooh. I just feel this stretch along my whole back. Here for another five. Breathe. Shake the head, relax the neck, no tension there. Four, you got it. Three, <laughs> dirty mat. Two, hips up and one. Drop them down. Knees down. <laughs> Work out the wrist if you need to. And we're going to move straight into it. That right foot now replaces where the right hand was, and we roll up. Oh, <sighs> All right, so my chest is not on my thigh here, but I'm still not deeply sinking into my hips. Just enough to feel a stretch here. If your knee is bothering you, go ahead and put a pillow under it, a towel, a blanket, a papusa, whatever, to help you protect that knee. So that stretch here at the top of this left leg, and I'm going to sink in a little bit more. Oh, man, and I feel that stretch in the back of this right leg. Scoot that right foot up a little bit more. Give yourself some balance good you can bring your hands onto the top of that right knee over here five relax the shoulders see if you can pull the top of your head straight up spine stretches four i forgot i was bald for a second three two lean back a little bit more bring the hips down and forward a little bit more good the pelvic comes forward oh that's a good stretch there Come on down. Mm -mm -mm. I like to wiggle it out a little bit. See what else is in there. Ooh. Then slowly reach back. And we're going to come into another downward dog. Spread those fingers. Bring the feet wide as the hips. Ooh. Push those heels down. Hips up. Feel that stretch here. Shake it out for five, four, three, two, and one. Mm -mm -mm. Drop to the knees. Untuck those toes, put them flat onto the mat with the tops of the toes flat, and we're gonna come into this child's pose. Let all that good stretch and marinate. Good. A long run is about controlling the breath, controlling the mind, and taking control of the body. As soon as my body warms up, it just wants to take off. Freedom ain't just about taking off in one direction. As soon as I feel like it, freedom is about creating the direction, creating the control, 
creating the spaces where I need to take off to achieve my goal and what I want to. And then those spaces where I need to relax and calm down until the opportunity really comes. Let's take a deep breath here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good. We're going to come into our seated position, sitting up, crystal cross to the apple, the soft to the easy pose. Oh, lotus pose. Crisscross, crust the cab for my kids. Good. Just moving side to side here, feeling what feels good to you. Mm, stretching, open, and breathing. Mm, sitting up nice and tall. I thank y'all so much for joining me. Y'all got to get out there on that run with me early in the morning evening whatever get out there on that road get a run safely wear your safety stuff lights vests reflectors whatever you need to stay safe all right oh roll it out get that tension out shake those arms out bring those hands together we marathoning y'all <laughs> we in it for the long haul thank you so much for joining me today and as always feel free to feel free and namaste. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video. Share a comment. Let us know what videos you want to see. And for more yoga from that yoga dude, check out the description below. And as always, feel free to feel free and namaste. Peace.